Good afternoon, everybody. Whether you're here in school or at home, welcome to our Wednesday afternoon collective worship. This week, we are thinking about service and that serving God means helping others. Now, today I'm going to read you a story and it's called, How Full Is Your Bucket? And it's written by Tom Rath and Mary Ruckmeyer and it's illustrated by Maury J. Manning. Now, before I read you the story, I want you to have a think about the verse that Miss Green talked to us yesterday in her collective worship from the Bible. And it's from Luke 6, verse 31. Do to others as you would have them do to you. Felix was putting one of the last blocks on his tower when his little sister came in. I want to build with you, she said. Felix scowled. Go away, you're too little. Let's see where they are. I'm big. Stay back or you'll knock it over. But I can be very careful. Go play with your baby toys, Anna. Well, Anna wasn't very happy with what Felix said to her. And as you can see from the picture there, She's very angry and all she sees is the color red. And what does she do? Well, with a big thwack with her doll, she knocked over his tower of blocks. Grandpa! Grandpa shook his head. Felix, you just dipped from your sister's bucket. Like everyone else, Anna has an invisible bucket. When it's empty, she feels bad, but when it's full, she feels great. Didn't you ever notice your own bucket? Invisible bucket? Hmm. Sometimes Felix couldn't quite tell when his grandfather was joking. But the next morning when Felix woke up, there it was. A small gray bucket floating above his head. When Felix came down to have breakfast, his mum was in a hurry. I've got a meeting this morning and it's almost time to go. Anna, sit still. Now have a look at poor Felix, what's just about to happen. Felix slipped and cocoa wheat scattered across the floor. Felix, yelled his mum. You should have used the stool to reach that. Felix could feel his invisible bucket tip and big invisible drips spill out. Drip, drip. Ha ha, Anna laughed as she crunched the cereal with her shoe. Drip, another drop came out. Get the broom and clean that up before you miss the bus, scolded mum. With the school bus honking, Felix quickly swept up the cocoa wheat and grabbed the last blueberry muffin. But before he could even take one bite, Buster jumped up and grabbed the muffin from his hand. Drip, another drop came out of his bucket. While he was on the school bus, one of the boys said, hey, look at Felix's new backpack. My baby brother has one just like it. And everyone started to laugh and that made Felix upset. And another drop came out of his bucket. And while he was in school, he could see some children whispering about him and another drop came out of his bucket. And then by mistake, he bumped into one of the bigger boys in the corridor and the bigger boy said, watch out shrimp. And there we go, another drop out of the invisible bucket. It was still morning and Felix's bucket was almost empty. As he watched his classmates walk into the room, he secretly hoped that they would trip and fall. That's what it feels like when you have an empty bucket.
Felix slumped into his seat and waited for something else bad to happen. Mrs. Bumblenickel walked slowly up to his desk and handed him a paper. He could hardly bear to look at it. Felix, you wrote a wonderful story. Would you please share it with the class? Felix grinned and felt a big drop land into his bucket. Felix stood up in front of the class and he said, the gigantosaurus who wanted to be a pet by me, Felix. The class grew quiet. They laughed at all the right places and oohed at all the scary parts. When Felix finally read the end, everyone clapped, even Emily who sat next to him and didn't usually like dinosaurs. Felix felt a whole shower of drops land in his bucket. Maybe the day wouldn't be so bad after all. And at lunchtime, you can see from the picture here, Felix was sitting next to a friend. They were having a nice packed lunch together and there's a drop going in his bucket. Then down here, when it was the PE lesson, the teacher said team captains today are Felix and Veronica and more drops went into his bucket. And then up here, he's in his art lesson and the teacher says, nice cow. And Felix says, it's a dog. And the teacher says, well, nice colors there, Felix. And another drop goes into his bucket. And then down here, one of his friends says, cool laser ant backpack, Felix. And another drop into his invisible bucket. By afternoon, Felix's bucket was nearly full. At playtime, when he looked around, Felix suddenly realized that his grandpa was right. Everyone else had a bucket too. And there we can see Felix is inside and one of the adults dropped some papers and Felix said, let me help you. So drops going into both invisible buckets. And here, one of the boys missed catching his ball. Felix caught his ball and says, here's your baseball. And the boy says, thank you. And the drops go in the bucket. And then we have a new boy sitting on the bench and Felix goes up to him and says, hi, I'm Felix. First day, and the boy says, yes, I'm Amir. And look, drops into both of their invisible buckets. The strange thing was that for every drop he helped put in someone else's bucket, he felt another drop in his own. And look how full Felix's bucket is now. When Felix burst in the door after school, he shouted, you were right, Grandpa, I do have a bucket and I understand how it works. Then he saw Anna's torn doll, bad dog, he almost scolded, but then he thought, dogs might have invisible buckets too. Your doll will be okay, Anna, said Felix. Mum will fix her. Until then, do you want to help me build the tallest building in the world with my blocks? And so, they did, and if you look up top, you can see their buckets filling up. So you see, each of us has an invisible bucket, and depending on our actions and words, that will determine how empty or how full our bucket is. And when you practice service by being kind and loving, and when you listen and you help others without being asked, then you're filling someone's bucket, and then you're feeling happy because your bucket will be full too. Okay, it's time for us to pray. If you would like to put your hands together and close your eyes, you may. Dear God, help, help us to be kind, caring, and thoughtful. Help us to serve you, God, by helping others so they can feel peace and happiness. Help us to see the good in every situation, even when things go wrong. Thank you for our friends and families and for all the key workers that are practicing service to keep us all safe and well. In God's name, amen. Well, now it's your turn. So I want you to have a think, and I want you to think, what can you do to fill a bucket today? Thank you so much for listening to me. I hope you're all well, and I hope to see you all soon. Take care. Bye-bye.